Hi everyone, hello. Today's video is going to be on the Tornvong, the new tier 8 premium, uh, coming in the Christmas boxes in only a few days. Uh, we're just going to cover the garage really quick and then hop into uh, some gameplay. And uh, so far, at least playing it a bit, it, I'm conflicted. So let's get into that now. Um, the Alpha is 400, so it's your typical 120mm gun. And yes, that is the caliber, so it's important for overmatches and things like that. Uh, base reload, so again, you'll notice I have no crew, no food, uh, no equipment, nothing. Uh, is a 14.68 second reload, which is not great by pretty much any means. But again, we'll get into that in a minute. Um, 22 degree uh, gun traverse speed, which is really not great. It feels super slow in, in the matchmaker for me. Or not the matchmaker, in live gameplay. Um, 10 degrees gun depression, 20 elevation. Certainly not terrible. Not insane, but, you know, it's definitely usable, uh, especially, and you'll notice the turret here is very small. So that 10 degrees goes a long way, particularly on, I uh, think, your Westfields, your Himmelsdorf, you know, any, anything where you're on those sort of ridgelines with that potential. 2.2 uh, second aim time. Uh, again, remember, this is all base. Uh, 0.42 dispersion, which is really bad. Um, base 1,600 DPM, which, again, this reminds me a lot of a 122 TM, which is also in the boxes as it happens. Uh, 1600 base hit points, 250, or sorry, 260 hull armor, uh, 280 turret armor. So on the front, now that is penable by a pretty fair chunk. It's really hard to get some, uh, what's the word, like live reactions, I guess, because the tank is just so new nobody really knows what they're doing there aren't a lot of videos out yet um, well there will be by the time you see this but you know people are just so unfamiliar with it so i'm hesitant to say the armor yes it's insane or no it's not because people just don't know yet now you'll notice that it is very very well angled so regardless of what people know any shots that are coming in and sort of hitting this top uh plate here particularly when you're using your gun depression it will just be you know auto bounce city it'll be ridiculous now your lower plate is pretty massive and that's going to be very weak uh, on the hull on the side you're going to be looking at 50 millimeters in the rear 40 the turret 90 on the sides which is actually quite good considering and then you'll have um 75 on the rear which again given excuse me given the size of the turret is is really not terrible it's actually more than i would have thought uh now if we go to the speed this is where this thing really lacks um if you you haven't noticed yet this is a swedish heavy um, and my God, does it feel like a heavy, uh, 32, uh, kilometer an hour top speed with 12 reverse speed. That is slow as shit. And you will feel it, at least in my experience. Um, 6% camo stationary again with no modifiers, uh, three on the move, which again, really bad. And this is one of the most frustrating things about the vehicle, a base V range of 360. That is abysmal. Like that's really bad. Um, now I'll kit this out here and show you sort of what we're looking at once it's fully set up. Um, that does not really get much better. I'll return the crew here, which this is my Kron crew, which it does fit, which is perfect. Um, you also get the right roles as well. So you do have the radio operator on the commander. Um, so situational awareness and any of that stuff doesn't get, um, really particularly messed up. You'll notice I don't have recon, so I am missing that, which would push me a little over 400. Um, but with this setup, I found, if we get into the equipment here, um, your two typical pieces, you're going to be running a vert stab and gun rammer. Now I played, uh, like seven games in this so far, trying to figure out what the best advice is uh, to give you guys as far as the equipment. And I have found that frankly, I don't know. Uh, I haven't been able to put in enough time yet. We got this really late, uh, or really close to the like NDA release, um, I don't know. For me, I found building heavily into the gun with the um, improved aiming unit, uh, particularly under the bounty stuff, helped me a lot. Um, I tried it with turbo. I tried it with IRM. Uh, the only thing I didn't try it with was optics. I even tried it with vents as well to kind of mitigate and get a little everything buff. Um, and I found that the improved aiming unit was the big piece that helped me. Again, you could definitely get into the, the rotation mechanism. You could absolutely run turbo if you want. Or if you are as disgusted with the V range as I am, uh, you can choose to run uh, coded optics, which would go um, a long way on this and definitely help. Uh, now I'll set this all up here. You can kind of see what changes. 
So now uh, on this, we are... Actually, I'll just pull this menu up here. It's a little easier to read for you guys. Um, a 12-second reload, 2-second uh, aim time, 0.36 dispersion, which by no means, again, is remarkable. It's not uh, a little over or a little under 2K DPM. Um, it's just okay. Uh, we'll definitely notice a bit of an improvement, though, in the gameplay. And I won't hold you guys up anymore, and we'll hop right into that. And hopefully you can see and get a feel for how this thing performs over there. So I'll catch you there. Okay, so let's hop into the gameplay. Uh, this will be, I think, the best game I had over the course of the, um, the battles I played tonight. Uh, it's nothing, like, really remarkable, but it was a game I felt showcased kind of the strengths and the weaknesses of the vehicle. Um, in this case, so, all right, l let's get back to what I was mentioning um, in the the garage section. So one of the biggest complaints I have with this tank, um, and it, it does surround that gun, there there's really no reason to ever fire the um, the standard round in this, the, the base APCR. There's just no point. I, I think I forgot to cover that there, but I'll hopefully cover it here, and I'll, I'll make a uh, like little notification there. Uh, anyway... So you're looking at, I think, 248 standard pen with 1,000 meters a second velocity, which is really not terrible. Um, but the premium APCR, so still APCR, standard and premium, uh, knocks it up to 1,450 meters a second along with just shy of 300 millimeters of pen. That is really substantial. Um, there is basically no justifiable reason to not fire premium. So I, I found, and, and you'll notice in this game, I fire it left, right, and center because 1450 and 400 alpha, that, that whole package is just so freaking good. It's, it's really something else. Um, you can see that gun there. This is, uh, again, with that setup I showed in the garage with um, improved aiming unit, uh, vert stab, and rammer. Um, it, you'll still get kind of trolled with the, the gun handling, um, despite how good the velocity is. But... I really found a lot of success with the premium round, and I, I dislike when Wargaming does that. I would prefer if they made it a heat round or something as the premium, um, just to give a little bit of uh, thought and reason behind uh, the ammo choice. Because, again, if, if you want the best package for this, um, there is really no reason to not fire premium. Now, to that point, right? Um, to get back to the standard round, it's about 248 pen, I think. Um, which, again, on a tier 8 uh, premium, that's really great. Um, the thing is that holds it back is the speed of the vehicle itself. Um, now, I'm comparing that, or not comparing, I'm pairing that together because the high velocity allows you to, to hit shots when you need to, and you don't get that opportunity very often due to the speed. Um, again, I showed in the garage, it's like a 32 kilometer an hour top speed, and you really don't hit that very often. Um, even on flat ground on a paved road, it is not super common. Um, the thing is, the gun is so weird almost, where um, it will feel way more accurate than it is at times, or than it says it is. At other times, you know, you'll be fully aimed and miss somebody from, you know, 50 meters away. But in this case here, hopefully you'll kind of see what we're able to do. And this 297 pen, it just annihilates whatever you fight um to uh, something to mention as well with the speed um one of the benefits that the amx 30 had which is the last premium the marathon vehicle uh the benefit it had was it's fast and has relatively good pen it's 232 base pen on that um that is a really great frontline vehicle i don't know if this will be i think it'll be a great defensive vehicle where you're not really needing to run around from objective to objective um, but running this around as an attack, I just don't think is great. Now, it might be good for attacking in the sense that you could ride a ridgeline, because again, keep in mind, the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, the, I guess, exposure I'm showing the enemies when I'm trying to fire at them is so small, because the turret really is, uh, very, very thin. Uh, something else to mention, sorry to keep like interrupting myself here and, and changing the, um, the train of thought but you could hopefully see there if you can't go back in the video a second and check how long it takes to traverse the turret it is like a mouse it's ridiculous and again that was another reason i felt conflicted about uh, 
basically telling you this is the best setup of equipment because I don't really know. I found a lot of success with the improved aiming unit to try and, and wrangle that gun in from 0.42 base dispersion. But you might find IRM um, just isn't enough. You might want to run turbo to get that extra speed. You might want to run uh, you know, improved aiming unit to, to get that gun accuracy like me. You, you might totally opt to avoid the gun completely and run for um, optics to try and get that V range up because it's so bad. We should get a kill shot in the IS-6 here, right into his side again with that beautiful 300 pen, uh, well, just shy of it, um, and that great velocity. It's like hit scan. It's super nice. This T-28 prototype finally pushes in and clears out his TNH. That should give us some side shots in the 50 TP, and I think this game is coming to an end. Again, right there, I hope you could see how slow this thing is to maneuver. It's such an odd tank, and honestly, I don't dislike it. It's... It's interesting because this is a vehicle that to me um does not feel overpowered but it does feel interesting it's not uh, like boring because it's balanced i think at the end of the day it has some really great things about it again that um the velocity is insane you, you're getting near leopard one levels it's so nice to use especially with that high pen it feels very comfortable this thing will be at home in a tier 10 game uh i want to mention I don't have the end cards for this because I accidentally closed the game before I could have and I can't upload it to while replays because somebody could get access to it and whatever it's a whole NDA thing but anyway I hope you can kind of get a feel for the vehicle sorry it got kind of rambly at times but I hope you can get again that sort of reasonable picture uh, out of uh, what the vehicle is um, and what to expect provided you get one out of the, out of the uh, Christmas boxes if there are any other questions, uh, please feel free to leave it in the comments. I guarantee I forgot something. It wouldn't be a video on this channel uh, unless I did. So I'll catch you guys next time. Have a good one. And uh, I'll see you on Friday.